I'm going to show uh, just a couple of uh, utilities that I just recently put together for showing and hiding components and bodies and uh, saving those uh, states, essentially. I'm going to start by showing you um, some of the differences between show and hide components versus bodies. So sometimes in Fusion when you're working and I select this bolt, for example, and I say hide, you see that all the bolts were just hidden? That's because in Fusion, oftentimes you're actually selecting the body not the component. So if I turn the body on, all the bodies are shown. But if I turn the component off, just the one component is now hidden. Um, so if you look at that again, so what happens sometimes when you're working is uh, there's a tray here in this assembly and I want to show the tray. So, you know, one of the things I can do with these utilities is I created a utility called show all bodies. So I have show all bodies, show all components, show hidden bodies, and show hidden components. What show all bodies will do will just literally turn on every body in every component in the entire assembly. So anywhere in these bodies folders, it just will turn on the display of that body, which is kind of a useful sometimes when you're trying to find something. So if you basically, if you say show all bodies and you say show all components, um, which you can currently do show all components in the regular UI, but just for consistency, put it here. Um, show all bodies, show all components. You'd basically have everything uh, in your entire design tree displayed. But now that might not always be what you want to do. So you might be working towards uh, just showing this tray, for example. So if I want to just show the tray, what I could do in this other workflow is to say show hidden bodies. So I'm going to start by saying show hidden bodies. Now I'll select the tray, hide it. And now if I do show hidden bodies again, it'll basically invert the display back to what I had before. OK, now let's say we have the uh, same situation, but this time we actually have components that are hidden. So in this case, I've got um, you know, a few components turned on and off. You can see here just in the tree. Um, and now we can jump in here and we can say I want to say I want to either show all components or I could just say show hidden components and then same workflow if I want to take the tray now I'm actually selecting you can see I have a selection filter set here to components so now if I'm selecting the component I can say I want to show it um, and then uh, do another show high hidden components and kind of invert the selection again and now I've got it displayed. So the other add-in is uh, this one here called Display Saver. So this is nice if, um, for example, I have this assembly and I wanted to save the state of what is shown and hidden. And so this works really just off of components uh, the way I did it. Uh, you would run this and then you can, say, you can come in here and you can say um, do I want to save the current display condition? So this is going to remember all of the things that I have displayed, and I'll call this uh, Ember 1. And then maybe I come in here and I want to grab, I don't know, for whatever reason, just grab a bunch of the pieces of this case, and I want to hide that as well. Maybe one more piece. Again, you can say, okay, you've just kind of gotten to the point where you like something. You like want to work in this environment where you have all these things saved. And I'll go ahead and come in here. And again, I'm going to say I want to save the current condition. Call it Ember 2. Say okay. And then maybe I'll come in here, use my other add-in, the show all components, to get everything back. And then maybe just to have it, uh, maybe I'll do... Uh, one more called um, all components. Let's say OK. And now the other thing that's nice with that is now when I come in here to this display saver, I'm able to actually switch back to any of those. So I can go back to Ember 1 or Ember 2, and it's going to remember everything that I've saved. Also, if I hit current, it'll just take me back to whatever it was when I came into the command. And then, of course, again, I have my all components, which is the same as what I have displayed. So again, really uh, 
with these two add-ins, you've got the ability to do the different hiding and showing of bodies and components, and then to um, kind of save off those display states. So uh, you'll see there's, when you go into your add-ins, you'll see there's two add-ins in here. One is called display saver, and the other one is called uh, show hidden. And uh, you can get those from my GitHub page. which you'll see right here. If you go to my uh, repositories, you can download a uh, display saver and uh, show show hidden right here. Um, when you go into either of these, you'll see um, some notes about how to install um, add-ins and scripts. This is a little quick explanation here. And I uh, put some uh, how to use it in here as well.